you know much about the components of vector in three dimensions. We studied about all this in the previous video. Now what is the extension to this topic? I have two vectors a and b and they are specifically a1i cap plus a2j cap plus a3k cap and b is respectively b1i cap plus b2j cap plus b3k cap. Now I have to see what happens when I add these two vectors, when I subtract these two vectors, when I multiply any one vector out of these with a scalar and when I check upon the equality of this vector. So let's see, the first operation that I'm going to check is what is the resultant when I am supposed to add these two vectors. So what will happen? In case you have to add these two vectors, I specifically will tell you that you have to add first the i cap things, that means the x components, then the y components and then the z components. It is simply telling in algebra like we do, like terms and unlike terms. So the resultant would be a1 plus b1 multiplied by i cap plus a2 plus b2 multiplied by j cap plus a3 plus b3 multiplied by k cap. So that is a plus b. Next I have to talk about a minus b vector. If I am not interested in now subtracting, I have to do not addition, then what to do? The only difference will come as it is a minus b. So a1 minus b1, a2 minus b2, a3 minus b3. The only difference, the answer can be written by you. But my dear friends, if it is b minus a, then it will be b1 minus a1, b2 minus a2, b3 minus a3. That I hope you understand. Next check would be the third check. And that is if I have a scalar m and I multiply with the vector a, what will be my result like? So that means I have to multiply the scalar all over by all the three components that are into picture. So it is m a 3 k cap. So now you understand that what do you mean by multiplication by a scalar? Last but not the least in which we can find some questions in the examination also sometimes equality. So if I say my a vector is equal to b vector, that means a1 is equal to b1. Also necessarily a2 is equal to b2 and also I should have a3 is equal to b3. If I say this or this, no. This condition, the first condition and second and third, all of the three should prevail in order to make a and b vectors as equal. And now we will see in the next video certain questions. We will start with the questions based on components of vector in three dimensions.